please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Now for a moment of silence. Hey Buffs, happy to Thursday. I'm Xavier and today I'm here with my British twin, Xavier the Second. Hello chaps. And here is today's news. Well, in sports news today, we have a cross-country thing at a uh, Holtham Stampede. Uh, also, today we have a football game at Central High School at the FAC at 7 p.m. So make sure to go uh, support our buffs. And in other news, today is National Coloring Day, so find some time to color in something. I'm not Bob Ross, but uh, if you got the talent, go for it. Yes, I, uh, I have seen some of your drawings. You drive like a five-year-old. Positively dreadful. <sighs> Whatever, man. You're lucky you're me or I'd kick you in the face. Oh, please, try me. <laughs> well, Buffs, that's all for today. Have a positively lovely day. Go Buffs. This is Stamp PTV, and I'm here with... Daniel Muka. Tell us, Daniel. What's your favorite teacher so far? Hmm. I think if I had to pick a favorite teacher, it would definitely have to be Mrs. Norris. She has granted me so many, like, possibilities, so many experiences, so many opportunities that I don't think I would be who I am today without her. And I've just grown so much. I've learned so much. And I just cannot wait to see what more I can learn. And... I hope that whenever I'm a big shot in the future, she's sitting there, probably front row, cheering me on. Thank you. All right, would you like to do any shout outs? Uh, shout out to the Halsam Theater Department. Musical auditions are coming up next Wednesday. So if you're interested in doing that, go ahead and audition. And on September 28th, 29th, 30th, and October 1st, we're gonna be producing our fall show, One Stop Light Town, and you should definitely go see that as well. Right. Thank you. Dog before today and go buffs. Hey folks, please this area. It's not open during food period. Hey folks, it's Jessica and Jordan from Jessica and Jordan. Hi, my name is Kenny and I'm here with CZ. Jackson. And I'm here to ask them some questions. So first off, what is JROTC? Um as first sergeant likes to say, we're a family. We like to support each other, have each other's backs, stand right next to each other basically. Yeah, that's good. Um, what do you do in JROTC? Uh, learn a lot of different benefits for life. Um, you do a lot of PT, a lot of physical fitness, and uh, go through lots of different strengths that you can learn. Okay. Um, has it prepared you for your future? Helps you see what do you want for your future since it's actually going to come really soon for some of us, most of us, to be honest. Mm. Um, life benefits like how to budget, what what job you will actually want to look for and what's worth your time, mm -hmm. and basically just have a life plan already. Yeah, that's great. Some question. Um, it's kind of pre it's helping us prepare for ourselves because we can go in with different benefits into the military if you want to. Um, you're learning a lot of different things. For example, like faces and different stuff that will help you with marching, and uh, you can go in with a higher rank. That's about it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for that. Go bus. Hi, my name is Kenny and I'm here with Joy. And I'm here to ask you some questions. So first off, what is JROTC? JROTC is a program where you can learn, make new friends, um, meet new people. Uh, it's a, we're like a family and it's like a, it's a program where you can be a better person, you know, learn new things, meet new people, experience new things. Okay. What do you do in JROTC? Um, as the S2, I help with the weather. I put it on the board. You know, if we go to exercise outside, 
I make sure to let them know the weather and what's going to be happening. And security at game. And has it prepared you for life in the future? I would say yes, and not in an academic way, but in a mentorish, mentor type way. Like we are mentored, not about because not everything, not academic wise, but like life wise. You know, like life lessons, how to face troubles in the future, finance, and all that. In that way, yes, it has prepared me. Thank you for that. Go, Bucks.